Hey everyone, so we're here today at Boardwalk where we have a club level room. Now the rooms here are standard or deluxe. We have a standard room so you get whatever view they give you. We have a naked garden view and it's so pretty out there. Yeah, these rooms are basically the same as the regular rooms here at Boardwalk. The layout's a little different in some of them, but it's the same size. And then the deluxe rooms are just bigger rooms and there's only, uh, I believe, 10 of those here at the resort. So those obviously are a little bit more pricey, but they are all club level access, so you do get that with it. But let's go check out the room. So this room's layout is a little bit different than the other rooms we've had here at Boardwalk. The closet is actually the first thing in the room and the coffee maker and fridge are actually on the other side of the room. So a little bit different today. The closet is where you're gonna find your iron and ironing board, your extra pillow and blanket, the hangers for your clothes. And here in club level, you're gonna find robes because you fancy. And you're also going to have some slippers down underneath because they provide those here at Boardwalk. They don't have logos on them or anything like some other resorts, but they do have the slippers, which is really nice. And you also have your safe back in the corner over there as well as a little luggage rack. Behind me is the bathroom area where you have just the big opening to the bathroom area, no door on there. And inside here you'll have your double vanity with all kinds of amenities up here. Since we are club level, looks like we got some dental kits and a few other things. So we've got those, not a ton of counter space up here, but they do have the extra shelf up above the vanity. So you've got a little more space there and there's a storage space underneath. So if you really need to spread things out and move things around, you've got some space there. So. Got a makeup mirror on the wall, as well as a full length mirror on the door to the other half of the bathroom. Inside this door, you're going to find your tub, which of course has a shower in it as well. Not a, no detachable shower head, but you do have the shower. And it looks like we've still got the individual bottled amenities in here. The shower curtain has some Ferris wheels on it, and I was certain they would really try and hide a hidden Mickey in here, but they missed the opportunity. It's just Ferris wheels. We've got our towels and our toilet, and we have to point this out because this is the first time we've seen this here at Boardwalk. Apparently they have gotten a stamp for their toilet paper so they can stamp the logo on the toilet paper, kind of like Grand Floridian does. So. I'm sure they're quite proud of that. We do notice that little detail. We'll have to let housekeeping know because it's always fun to get your logo stamped on the toilet paper, I guess. Now in the room, we do have a couch that converts into a day bed. So all you have to do to do that is grab the little black straps back there and pull down and that will pull your bed out. It is a twin size bed. However, it is a little bit shorter than your standard bed. So you wanna make sure you don't have anybody who's you know, six feet tall trying to sleep on it or anything like that. Above the bed is our painting of Magic Kingdom, or at least what would have been Magic Kingdom if it were built 100 years sooner. You've got the castle and carousel there and everyone kind of walking around uh, in their very old fashioned garb. So. I, I gotta say, it would be kind of cool to see Magic Kingdom with everyone dressed this way. Um, like, it's kind of like Dapper Day, but not as bad because Dapper Day is usually pretty hot, so. We've got our TV over here with a dresser down below. The dresser does have some drawers and cabinets, and it also has some USB outlets and wall outlets built in. So you've got a couple on either side of the dresser there. The room does have two queen size beds. So you've got a queen size bed on either side. And then over on the left side above this bed, we've got a pretty picture of the boardwalk again in that same time period as the painting on the wall. And then in the top right corner, you can see we have a hidden Mickey. Well, sort of, kind of a obvious Mickey because he's got a face and everything, but super cute there in that painting. The lights up above the bed also have hidden Mickeys in them. There's several in this room. We've got an upside down Mickey on the bottom and a right side up Mickey on the top. It's all over the place. We've got four of those lights, so there's eight of them right there. And then the picture in between the beds is also not exactly a hidden Mickey, but a postcard written to Mickey and Minnie at Disneyland from Donald and Daisy here at the boardwalk. So fun little postcards there. And uh, pay close attention to that, that postmark 
and don't think about it too hard. The nightstand in between the beds has a little drawer and it does not have any outlets or USBs built in. So something to note there is if you're gonna plug things up, you gotta have, uh, use the wall behind it. There's no outlets built into the nightstand. And then over here in the corner is where they've moved the coffee maker, the Keurig, and the uh, mini fridge as well. So you've got your Keurig up top with some K-cups and mugs. Inside the drawer, you're gonna find some extra glasses and to-go cups, things like that. And then down in the cabinet below is your mini fridge. And I gotta point out these pulls on the cabinet and drawer are some of the cutest that we've seen anywhere. Check that out, it's the Boardwalk Arcade and it is another hidden Mickey here in the room. On the opposite side of the room by the bed, we have the desk, and the desk does have a couple USB outlets built into it. It's got two USBs there and there's some wall outlets as well. You got Minnie Mouse on the lamp, and then on the back of the chair is another not so hidden Mickey and Minnie carved into the chair there, riding in that super old car. So that's really cute. And on the legs of the desk as well, you're gonna have a couple hidden Mickeys. So there are just Mickeys hidden all over this room. They kind of went crazy with it, but it's a lot of fun trying to find them. Another thing to point out is under the desk, they do have a second table and this is on wheels. So you can roll it around the room. If you are gonna have food here in the room, which is very likely since you're club level, uh, you will be able to use that. You can wheel it over by the couch or by the bed or whatever you need. Before we head out onto the balcony, I just wanna take a moment to show you the curtains. They do have some art on the curtains. It is all boardwalk themed. So you've got the drawings of what the boardwalk would have looked like at various places uh, at the same time period as the rest of the art in the room. So really fitting of the decor here and super cute. Now let's head outside and show you our view. As we said, you don't get to choose a view when you book these rooms, club level, you just get a standard room. We got very lucky and got a garden view and we also got an awesome balcony. So you can see the room next to us has a balcony and you can see about the size that that has. And then you can see our balcony, which is quite a bit larger than that one. We've got two chairs and a table out here and we've got a lot of space to move around. So it's gonna be nice to have this balcony for the next couple days and hang out out here when it's morning and evening, a little bit cooler out. Down below us, we've got those garden suites. If you haven't seen our video on those, go check it out because those are really cool little uh, cottages you can kind of have to yourself when you're staying here if you book those. And then we have the garden, like the main garden area down here below us as well. So really pretty place to just kind of sit out and enjoy being outside. And over the rooftop, you can kind of see the, uh, the Skyliner there, see the gondola cars running by. They do seem to be running like normal. So that's going to wrap it up here. That is all we've got for the club level standard room here at Boardwalk Inn. If you enjoyed that walkthrough, give us a thumbs up below and comment with any questions you have or comments about this room. We're happy to answer those for you. And of course, subscribe to our channel. We've got so many of these videos coming and so many already on here, so you can check that out. Yeah, and for more information about this resort and everything else going on here at Walt Disney World, make sure you head over to our website, herewiththeears.com, and look at everything there. There's a link to that down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, we're here with the ears.